Hola mis corazones, bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sasha, I am your favorite YouTuber and on this channel I teach you everything self-care. So please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell that's right next to it so that you are notified every single time you go upload a new video. In today's video we're going to be doing my 9 to 5 morning routine. So this is going to be a get ready with me, my healthy Christian girl morning routine and of course we're bringing in the new year so it's a 2020 three morning routine so today i wanted to give you guys a more realistic what i do when i want to set the mood set the intentions and i know that you know i have a busy week i have a lot of assignments that i have to accomplish at work i have to get at the feet of my father and pretty much what i like to do is just worship so i will either put this on my tv i have a speaker in my home or just simply play it on my ipad on my phone whatever it is that's convenient for me quick and easy to get into that posture of worship because it's just so important um before i do anything else i just want to glorify god because his name is forever worthy to be praised and i just feel so much better you can be stressed about life about a family member about your health about strength about bills or whatever it is that could we just talk about it that's like real life issues that a lot of us are going through but when you literally cast your cares unto the lord this is exactly what it means and what it looks like it's understanding that these things still exist but i trust in my father that he will not leave me. He will not forsake me. And he supplies my every need. So he knows what's going on. So while I wait on him, I'm going to wait on you, Jesus. I'm going to sit at your feet and I'm going to worship you. And I'm going to have faith because that's what moves God, right? He is so good and his name is just worthy to be praised. I'm going to have faith that he's going to move and act on our behalf. So 2023 has taught me so much of the goodness of God and really learning to trust him. Him, right we say that we trust him but really it shows in our actions when you're freaking out when you're worrying when you're stressed this is what's showing you hey this is not me trusting in God because when you send your spouse your girlfriend your boyfriend or even your kid to go do something for you like get some food you don't worry about oh my gosh when is it coming when is it coming you know you rest knowing that it's it's gonna come like I'm gonna get my food you know you order food you know that they gotta bring it that is exactly how you rest in the Lord. My father knows my every need. He knows that I don't have the money to pay this rent. He knows that I'm stressed out about my child and I, I want them to come into the kingdom. I'm stressed out about my parents and I, and I want their lives to be saved. So therefore trust and rest in him and worship him every day my grandmother used to tell me as a child when you ask god for something don't continuously ask him over and over and over again instead just keep thanking him and worshiping him and trust in him so faith is believing what we cannot see right that's so deep but let that word sink in faith is believing in what we cannot see so instead before something comes through in the physical realm it happens in the spiritual realm first so that's why we just worship him we praise him we honor him we thank him in advance because we know that it is finished and it is done so another huge part of my morning routine especially if my nine to five morning routine is meditation if i you know it happens will end up oversleeping and now i'm in a rush i like to wake up extremely early so i can take my time stretch get ready and set that intention for the day meditating is a huge part of that because it really helps me get grounded i used to be extremely anxious and overwhelmed so instead of being that person i started to quiet my mind and meditating has has been a huge part of my life now and it looks different for everyone i believe in jesus christ he is my lord and savior so i'm not sure what the other folks is doing next door but that ain't my business okay my business is what i'm doing up in here and we praise the Lord up in here. So basically, that's pretty much what I do, you guys. And then, of course, I just want to stretch. So mentally, I got to get myself together. I got to pray. I got to worship the Lord. Sometimes you don't even have the strength to pray anymore. But guess what? You get down and you worship him and you praise his name for it is worthy to be prayed. You have another opportunity Okay, you're watching this video means you are above ground. That's one humongous thing to be grateful for. So after I dump, I like to think of it like a brain dump. 
I then start stretching and try to get my body together and I do workouts in this morning routine I actually was preparing for my time of the month I was in a lot of pain so I really just relaxed and that really just I allowed myself to just rest and not push myself too much because I have like a lot of pain sometimes I drink some tea and I decided to read my book and journal of course this is a huge part of my nine to five morning routine because there is a lot of responsibility on me when it comes to my nine to five and I am in leadership so therefore I cannot be okay if I don't get myself together before I go in and lead and and coach and develop so it's very important for me to do a brain dump mentally so I will just journal about things um and thank the Lord have a gratitude journal um as well as just be hopeful for the things that I'm trusting in him to do in my life so that's why I personally like to journal so I do want to do a mental health check-in for my beautiful amazing people could you guys do me a huge favor and leave a comment down below if you're watching this video okay I'm reading the comments so please leave a comment down below what are you grateful for could we just extend so much gratitude in this comment section because I want us to be a community of people that is grateful that God looks down from heaven and it's like I am so proud of my children and they are getting it so instead of speaking about things that really don't matter could we just build a community of people that is just so grateful leave something in the comment section down below what you are grateful for I am extremely grateful for the gift of life that I have another opportunity to be above ground and to be used as a vessel here on earth for the benefit of the Lord and his kingdom. And his name is always worthy to be praised. So leave a comment in the comment section down below. What are you grateful for? So once I'm done reading the word of God, then I went ahead and started cleaning up my little area. I am someone who likes to stay organized. It helps me mentally. I can't really function around a lot of clutter. So I like to get up and just start doing stuff and make sure that when I'm productive, it is a clean, peaceful environment that is around me. So I just decided to roll up my mat and I always like to put it 
where it belongs and then I went ahead and started my hygiene routine so this can look different on each day sometimes I jump straight into my hygiene routine go to the gym and do another hygiene routine sometimes I just do my hygiene routine and then meditate like it really just varies but today I decided to spend time with the Lord get at his feet and then I read my word now I am done with my hygiene routine and I am going to moisturize my body so basically these are the products that i'm going to be using in order to moisturize 10 out of 10 recommend both of these if you are not someone who wants a oily body you don't really like the body oils but you still need that nourishment i would highly recommend the nivea because it's absolutely amazing for my kings out there you need to be lotion in every crevices of your body stop skipping steps and queens too like you you need to be moisturizing your body and that's on period so um just wanted to let y'all know that now it is time to get ready with me so don't mind my little handy dandy robe we've been through a lot together this is my clean and chill robe but anyways i'm just going ahead and throwing on this robe and getting straight into my uniform or what i'm going to be wearing for my work day Alright y'all, so I'm fully dressed. I'm not supposed to put on my black boots, but I got this last night. This is tropical smoothie. This is what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast. And I have I'm just gonna warm this up in the microwave right now. I have I am not a breakfast girl. I personally like eggs and pancakes and all that. Like I don't typically eat that. I can't tell you the last time I ate eggs or 
pancakes um but i can eat dinner for breakfast that's the type of girl that i am but this is actually um a buffalo chicken wrap so hopefully it's good and i can actually eat it um but i told you guys on the vlog that i broke my nail it's literally split right here try to be different get some long nails learn my lesson short they go um so i'm pretty much running out the door um, i'm just gonna take my smoothie my food and then leave then leave chlorophyll so i'm just gonna put a couple drops of this i'm not gonna drink the whole water because i have court today so i'm just going to drop so i'm gonna throw on my black boots with this outfit And we're out of here.